Which one is the greatest killer of 10 to 34 year olds? Suicide, homicide, or disease? I'll give you a hint. According to the CDC, it says that this one kills more than the other two combined. <coughs> Here's some guesses, everybody. Can you drive? Suicide. Today is stressed out Sunday. And as a pastor in the last 18 months, we've had multiple brothers and sisters in our church family attempt suicide. Thank God they weren't <coughs> successful. But something's wrong. Something's wrong in our life if we think that's a good answer. But a lot of people think that's an answer. I want to talk about your stress. I want to talk about your burdens. I want to talk about your exhaustion. I want to talk about your needs. And there is a need to discuss this because you need comfort. You need hope. <coughs> you need a future and you need joy. And I have that for you this morning. Jesus has that for you this morning. On this board are wonderful blessings of Jesus. The peace and the joy and the comfort you want is right here. Do you want to be blessed this morning? Well, I'm here, Pastor, of course. Let me tell you the answer to all of your stress and your problem from Jesus himself. <coughs> he says these are blessings for you to be helpless, sad, persecuted, insulted, and suffering evil. I expect an applause. You're not excited about this? Wait, wait, you, you don't see these as blessings? I'm sure they didn't either. I'm sure the first time Jesus said these to people in Matthew chapter 5, they looked at him like you are looking at me. I mean, people had come from great distance to listen to Jesus. They had come from Galilee and Judea and even across the Jordan, and they had hiked up a hill to hear him preach. If you're going to hike a hill for a preacher, there better be a good sermon. And this is what he says. Blessed are you with this and this and this. And I'm sure they said, um, that's not what we came for. Because then you 
need to come from. Blessed are you when you're persecuted, when your family picks on you for what you believe, when your co-workers laugh at you that you still believe that book, when your classmates look at you funny because you know a funny thing. Blessed are you. Because then you need a real family, real comfort, real eternity. Jesus says all of these things are blessings because they are used for a purpose. They bring us closer to Him. They remind us that earth, earth is temporary. Earth is up and down, but the heaven, in heaven you won't be helpless. In heaven you'll never be sad. In heaven you won't be persecuted or any of these things. Jesus says the life of faith is simple. These are blessings for you because they bring you closer to me. I want you close to me. Because I want you in heaven. The things are not to be avoided. They are to be embraced. Can I be sarcastic for a moment? Is there a disconnect between your head and heart right now? Is your head telling you, okay, Pastor said that. I noticed a number of you have started to look in the bulletin and started to read Matthew 5. Wait a second, is he making this up? Is there a disconnect between your head and your heart? That your head says, well, if Jesus says it, 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 it must be true and it must be good for me. Okay, Jesus says these things. All right, they're good for you. And your heart says, no, I don't want to be helpless anymore. I don't want to be sad. Persecution lasts with me. I don't care what Jesus said. This hurts. Is there a disconnect in any of it between your head and your heart? Which one are you listening to? Would Jesus their simple words are clear. Are you listening to his words? Or are you listening to your heart? Your heart that says no. Your heart that says, I've been helpless before. I don't like that. Let's not go back there. I'm too sad already. I don't want to be sad anymore. Let's not do that. I remember when that family member said something to me. I remember when it was brought up at work. I remember how I feel. I don't want that anymore. If you think about it, your heart preaches an opposite message of Jesus. Jesus says these are blessings to be embraced. And our heart says these are curses to be avoided. So who do you listen to? Do you listen to Jesus? Or do you listen to God? How often we listen to our simple heart? How often we say, helpless? I'm not going to be helpless again. I am going to do it my way. Very simple, right? Sad? I'm not going to be sad again. I'm going to find something to make me happy. There's simple play. Persecuted? No, I'm not going to bring that up again. I remember what they said. I remember what they did. I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just let it lie. There's simple play. When we follow our simple heart against what God says, how quickly we get simple. How quickly we disobey. How quickly we look at blessings and curses and say, I don't want to do that. I don't want to listen to that. I don't think I need to do <laughs> Jesus' words are clear. Blessed are you. And how often we get in the sinful hearts of pleasure, of laziness, Knows you, he knows your simple heart. So he didn't just say, he 
these are blessings for you? Demonstrate them. He didn't just say, in your life, this would be good for you. No, that was his life. Jesus was helpless. God Almighty, Creator, wrapped in human flesh, laid in a manger. That's pretty helpful. Sad? He's in heaven. He can't know sadness. Then he comes to earth. And he cares for people. And he sees what it is when people bite back. I think about how sad Jesus must have been when he stood next to Pilate and Barabbas. And Pilate asked, which one do you want, Jesus or Barabbas? And what had Jesus done? He had fed people. He had healed people. He had taught people. He had changed his prayer vacations to take care of their needs. And what does the crowd shout? Barabbas, give us the kill. And him? Crucified.
And when you think of your life and you have none of these things, that's when you need Jesus the least, when you may be starting to go a different way. These are blessings for you, A, because Jesus did it, and B, because he brings you close. He wants you in heaven. He wants you to live with him forever. And he knows that if your life is easy street, you can go to easy street for him. How true that is about life. So these are blessings. These are ways that he brings us close. These are things that we need to hear. And I know you don't want to hear them. I don't want to hear them. I don't want to teach them. That. I know that there's a very human thing that says head and heart. No, no, no. <coughs> Listen to what God says, and there is blessing for us. Because being helpless in this world. Reminds us that we'll have all the help we need in heaven. Being sad in this world reminds us that there's going to be joy we can't even talk about in heaven. Being persecuted reminds us of his, but also the persecution we feel. Like. And one day, all of the things you struggle with, all of the pain that you feel, you won't even remember. When Jesus gathers you to heaven, you won't remember any of the stress that consumes you today. You won't remember any of the fights in your family. You won't remember just how agitated you get over this or that. You won't remember because you'll be in heaven. Maybe Jesus will tell you. Maybe as we're standing around his throne and praying and praising him, Jesus will pull you aside and say, you know what, I know you don't remember but there was this one time, and there was this other time, and there was this other time. And you didn't think you were going to make it. But you know, day by day, I carried you. Day by day, I got you through. Day by day, I used that stress to bring you closer to me so we would live here forever. Aren't you happy about that? Aren't you glad I was with that? Here are Jesus' simple words to them. Rejoice and be glad. These are your blessings. These are how God brings you close. These are how God keeps you close. You are blessed as you're stressed. Because one day, you won't be stressed. One day, you won't even know stress. One day, everything will be wonderful. And until that day, yes, life. Yes, people consider suicide. Yes, we are stressed far too much, but thank God they're blessings to bring us closer to Him. So we live with Him forever. We are blessed and stressed. Amen. Please stand.